team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Dick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers and the Marquette Golden Eagles. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Golden Eagles should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. Second of all, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Lastly, get busy battling for the boards. Winning teams always rebound well. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Almost lost a basketball. He fakes the shot. Inside, the power forward takes the feed. Obvious foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Both teams looking to get things going here. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll go to the line. He sinks it. Got them both. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. On the outside, the shooting guard gets the pass. From the baseline. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. The center gets the ball. And he missed. On the outside, the point guard takes the pass. There's the pick. There's the roll. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He looks at the his shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Ten seconds to shoot. Perfectly executed. Danielson is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He shoots from outside. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Gave it up. The shooting guard with the ball. Shoots it. He hits the shot. If you watch it again, it's even better. He bombs from outside. The Hilltoppers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. They work it around the perimeter. Set that screen away. The Hilltoppers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Inside. Turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards up there. Yeah, that helps. And a momentary look from three-point land. Bed the low block. Great anticipation defensively. 
Shows patience waiting for the reset. Trying to pack it inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He'll regroup the offense. Well, let's face it. He takes the shot from the baseline. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, what a strip, Brad. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Moving it around the perimeter. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Gave it up. Controlling the ball. I can't believe there wasn't a whistle on that one. Yeah, it should have been a whistle right there. I thought there was definitely an offensive charge. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. In the paint, Tanner draws the... He gets the bucket and the foul. He's here to fight, baby. That's a big play. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Work it inside, and he tries. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. And take some pride on the defensive end. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and the ball goes out of play. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Arm and foul. And, Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. This is the team's first trip to the free-throw line. First shot, good. Both free-throws go. Too slow to stay with his man, Dick, and he picks up the foul. Well, two mistakes. Number one, he lets him get the ball in that deep. And number two, he doesn't have any footwork and doesn't move and beat him to the spot. They work it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. The shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Western Kentucky are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. With a deep pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from left of the circle. Way off target. Oh, yes.
turns it over. Gave it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. Makes it. On the dribble, gives it up. Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here on transition, Brad. He draws a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Nice fake. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position, and he does, and then he drops the step. Oh, oh, oh. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits that one. He misses the second. They haven't been able to put it in from the line all night. Hey, this is how you win ball games, guys. Gave it up. Jump hook from the low block. In and out. Western Kentucky are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Up and inside. That's a foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brad and Dick, I'm down here by the losing team's bench. Their coaching staff is reminding them, look, it's just your nerves. Relax. It's only the first half. This team feels once they've settled in, they can take over here in the first half. Thanks, Aaron. Routine. Looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. The Golden Eagles have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. And a momentary look from three-point land. The fake. Takes the pass in the paint. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Marquette is in the bonus. He is going to the line. He missed it. A less than stellar performance, I'd say, at the line tonight. Less than stellar? You too nice a guy, Brad. They're shooting horribly from the line tonight. The frustration right there. In the paint. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Ten seconds to get it off. He tries the three ball. 
Makes the shot. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. From downtown, he's money with a shot. Looking for a good shot. From the baseline, he puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. On the outside, takes the pass in the paint, puts it up, looking for contact. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They're feeling good. The momentum is on their side, and everything is falling into place. Their body language, Dick, says it all. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He'll visit the charity strike. Makes the first shot. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. Looking for a good shot. For two. And off the mark. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the drop step in the low block. Oh, he does a great job using his footwork to get over the top of the defensive player. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Jumped in front to take it away. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. And in and out. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Entry pass in the paint for the bucket. Marquette are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. In the paint. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They let him get into a rhythm. On the outside. Leans in. Basket falls despite the contact. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They're working around the perimeter. The ball goes out of play. Missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Look at that spacing. Looking for contact. He drains the shot.
Gave it up. Tries for two. They still don't score. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. Goes. They work it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the screen up on top. The Golden Eagles have got to continue to get him the ball. Daddy's on fire. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great that you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. That's been moved not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes for the opportunity. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Jumps into the defender, and he scores despite the hack. Double team now, bad angle. For two, Dickey's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. On the inside. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. He puts it up. He makes the shot. off the lazy pass. Fast break possibility coming. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Basketball got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He attempts the trifecta. Scorches the net. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down here in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. For the bucket, he nails the bucket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Brad, if they were smart, they'd go two for one. Yeah. 
Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Perfectly executed. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reacting. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. the arc decided against the open post and reverses the ball takes the shot way off target at halftime the Golden Eagles are trailing by 10 this one's too close to call here at the end of the first dick do you have a highlight of the half no bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown baby Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. Well, it looks like the teams are just about set for the second half. Let's get back to the action. Owen couldn't really get it going in the first half, Dick. And they're suffering big time because of it, Brad. It's going to take more than just him to climb back into this game. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Marquette was one of the nation's greatest between the late 60s and the 70s, and that was a time when the program was really flying. Hey, great coach, great players, a few championships. It was a good era for the Warriors. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. He lets it go. That was nice. They work the perimeter. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For two. Dickie Sibley on fire. Hey, go the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. The Golden Eagles trail by nine. the dribble gives it up and he'll kick it back outside ball was knocked loose but the offense got it back they say forget about it and then he does a little dribble and out here and turns it over they work it around the perimeter top of the circle they work it around the perimeter looking for a good shot kicks it out foul charge you talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. has a lot of fire and energy in him right now. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Got an open look if he wants it. He dials long distance. Rims out. Up. Easy one. Mm -hmm. 
Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Let's face it. Danielson handles the feed. Fakes it. Dump it inside. Got a wide open look. Gets it back out. There's the trap. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. On the outside. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three -point. He makes the block. off the pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. The Golden Eagles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He intercepts it. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Marquette are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. High post flashes for the ball handler. Got some room. Fake. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Gives it up. And they come with a double team to stop it. The Hilltoppers lead by nine. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Buchanan receives the pass. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Turnover, great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Danielson, it drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes it. Fake. Gave it up. They're working around the perimeter. He shoots from downtown. Drains the shot. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Steals the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Picks off the lazy pass.
outside jumper. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. I'm sorry, Brad, but this young fella seems to be their only hope at the moment. Looking for a good shot. The shooting guard handles the pass. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. from left of the circle. The Golden Eagles have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. On the dribble, gives it up. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Now they work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Western Kentucky have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Tries for two. Off the rim and no good. Working it around the perimeter. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked him. And, it to the and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And makes the shot. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses on the trifecta. Good fake. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. Stolen ball. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. And a momentary look from three-point land. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. What a play. These kids are fired up now, and if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. Steps to the line for the first time. 
Makes it. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Trying to draw some contact. The land. And the ball goes out of play. Dick, that first half was kind of a nightmare, really. Neither team playing very well, and the score wasn't even close. And here we are in the second half, tournament basketball, and this is what we expected. You know, I think, Brad, what happened in the first half, a lot of nervous tension, and it really affected the way they handled the ball, they shot the ball, and now they've time to calm down, and now they're producing. Executes the baby hook. The Golden Eagles have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. On the outside, he shoots. The Hilltoppers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Man, he's on fire. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot. He posterized him. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. It's good. There's a double team waiting there. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Gets the second shot. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. Cotton receives the ball. He gives him the fake. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nice move with the face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. The Hilltoppers lead by 11. Try to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. In the paint. He pulls the trigger. Rims out. For two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. And he'll kick it back outside. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Intercepted for the deuce. Up, easy one. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket.
with the jump hook. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to nail with ease, Brad. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. The pressure that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for the bomb. Makes it. They work it around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. He goes for three. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Watch the replay, Brad. Time to pick up the defense here now. Oh, yes! Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. I think did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Takes away the pass. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. That's a high post screen. Goes for the lane. Here's a double team. Nice high post screen. He gets the rejection. The ball goes out of play. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. They're working around the perimeter. Ten seconds to get a shot off. Tries for two. Western Kentucky is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Up and inside. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. Look at him taunting the crowd, Dick. Now he's having too much fun. That taunting may find him in big trouble with this crowd. Momentary look from three-point land. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He rips the nets for another score. He's absolutely unconscious. Gave it up. He shoots from the top of the circle, sinks it. Working it around the perimeter. 
fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He squares up down on the left and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the bank is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. Seven seconds on the clock. They're whistled for a backcourt violation. Those kinds of mistakes kill momentum opportunities. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, ultimate shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. They'll work it around the arc. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, oh, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Marquette fought the good fight, but they still come up short. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler.